It's Wired Wednesday, so if you've been on the streets of San Francisco, you've probably seen them, all those driverless cars. I see them all the time. So joining us in studio is Abra Alhiti. First, I just want to say it is so nice to have you in studio. It's so good to be in person. Yeah, Thank you for having doing me. The Zoom, so <laughs> thanks for coming in. And I like our topic today because you've actually personally experienced it. You got into one of these Waymo cars. I did. So uh, just tell us what it's like because a lot of us haven't tried it out yet. I was really curious to know what it would be like. So I got in one of the one of these cars and I drove around. Basically, it felt like a very normal ride. What you do is you hail this ride like you would with an Uber or a Lyft. Mm -hmm. The car pulls up and there's no driver, which is very bizarre. I got yeah. in the back seat and it felt so normal that I kind of had to look at the driver's seat and remind myself that there was nobody there. The steering wheel's just turning on its own. On Bizarre. A little ghost <laughs> up there. All right. I, I just, I, I can't even, for me, I personally don't think I'd feel comfortable doing it, but you got it and you experienced it. You said you were sitting in the back seat. Were you nervous at any times? I surprisingly was not. There was even one moment where we were at like a four-way stop sign okay. intersection and the car was supposed to go next to us and it didn't go and our Waymo just stalled and waited yeah. and, and took its time. And, and there's a feature called safe exit, which makes sure that when you're getting out of the car, it alerts you if there's a pedestrian or a car coming. So there's a lot of uh, safety features that have been built mm -hmm. in to make sure that you're in good hands. What's going on with the company with Waymo? So Waymo is in San Francisco, in mm -hmm. Phoenix, and now rolling out in LA. And right now they're still waiting to open this for the public so people would be able to hail a ride they would with the way they would with an Uber or a Lyft. But still currently you can get on a wait list to, mm -hmm. to try it out uh, if you're really curious to try it yourself. Gotcha. So you're more in tune than in the tech world than us. That's why we have you in here. <laughs> so what does the future of autonomous cars look like at this point for us? This is really just the beginning. There's a lot of companies that are doing this. Cruise uh, has, you know, also so a driverless car that you can hail like an Uber. Yeah. Uh, there are going to be driverless buses and, and trucks. So we're going to be seeing this everywhere. Planes. And it, right, oh my God, let's not think about that yet. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is really just the beginning. And, and you know, we're lucky to live in the hub where we're seeing this kind of roll out and we can kind of watch it and see how it unfolds. And what kind of new developments are you seeing when it comes to autonomous cars? Yeah, right now it's really about gathering data. So because San Francisco is such a diverse city in, in terms of the ways to get around, you know, this is a great place to collect data on where are cyclists coming in, where are pedestrians coming in, how are drivers and buses now yeah, so navigating. streets are tough to be on. There's a lot going on. Our, the lanes are crazy and a lot of one-way streets. So what they're doing is basically collecting data from cities like this and then seeing how they can apply this to other cities uh, in the rest of the world. And since you have talked to some of these companies, what is their reaction to people like me, that seem a little hesitant about it. One of the things they say is that these cars are actually safer than a human driver because there's human error and you might be distracted and computers don't really get distracted. So you get in a car and, you know, it's, it's operated by a machine and it knows what it's doing. Okay, no phone ringing or <laughs> volume needing to be turned up or whatever that whatever's going on <laughs> exactly. in the car at the time. All right, well, thanks for sharing your experience. We appreciate it and we love having you in studio with us. Albar Alhiti from CNET, appreciate you. Thanks for having me.